What's up guys, I'm your host Emily for Emily's Robotronics.in and today we will be seeing another version of the operating system of the distros that's available for the Raspberry Pi. So the memory card that I have in my hand contains a new operating system and that's called the Rasp BMC. So this is uh, an operating system which is built across the XBMC. Uh, XBMC application that's available for the Linux uh, machines which is basically for handling a lot of multimedia files and uh, people have uh, uh, tweaked the Linux kernel, the mix the Linux kernel along with the XBMC uh, application so that you have uh, you your operating system boots up with the XBMC UI and your uh, uh, you have a great uh, UI and this uh, uh, operating system is totally focused towards uh, multimedia playback. So you shouldn't expect a lot of uh, things such as uh, different applications that would be available but you are provided with a great set of features that would enable you to see and uh, view a lot of uh, multimedia content. So I'm just gonna quickly plug in this card onto my uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, we would power this up and see uh, the various options that we have uh, with this operating system. So this setup could be used uh, to make your own uh, multimedia or a media center or H HTPC uh, similar kind of a thing. So I have, uh, let me just plug in a USB, there's a 8 GB USB, that USB pen drive that I have. So we do have a USB uh, slot free so that we'll, we'll just uh, put in uh, the pen drive here and uh, see the content that's available. So uh, we will be uh, this uh, pen drive does have a certain uh, number of uh, uh, media multimedia content so we would uh, browse through them and see uh, how uh, the Raspberry Pi handles uh, the content inside. So my power, my TV is powered on. I'll just uh, power up the Raspberry Pi, and uh, we should see uh, the boot menu. And there you see uh, the Raspberry Pi is uh, booting with the Rasp BMC operating system. And in case you guys uh, want a complete uh, description about uh, creating or uh, writing your own uh, the Rasp BMC image and uh, uh, booting your Raspberry Pi with the Rasp PMC, uh, I would uh, leave the link below in the descriptions, and uh, you can uh, always go ahead and see uh, the see and uh, do it for yourself. So we are presented with a beautiful operating system which says XBMC on the right, in the left hand corner with uh, the uh, clock on the right hand corner, and with a great looking, a very simplistic and very minimalistic. Uh, operating system uh, or the user interface and uh, by default uh, the focus is on the videos uh, we do have uh, several options on to the right and to the left and we would see uh, what what all they are so on the right you see uh, weather and pictures and on the left you see uh, uh, music programs and uh, system so programs basically will take you to uh, the plugins or uh, there are several programs or applications that you can download and do use them uh, that's uh, part of uh, that's not part of uh, this video but we would uh, will definitely discuss in a later uh, in other videos now let's quickly go to weathers and see okay in weathers you see uh, the information the weather forecast uh, information but as of now we don't have uh, the raspberry pmc connected or the raspberry pi connected to uh, the operating system and hence you don't uh, see uh, the details here so, pro so once you have your uh, Raspberry Pi uh, plugged into uh, the internet through the Ethernet, you should be able to uh, see all the information. So probably you need to provide uh, the your uh, location details, and uh, after that you would definitely have. So going to the pictures and uh, see what how uh, the pictures are rendered on uh, the UI. We ha we did have uh, the pen drive plugged. Uh, to our Raspberry Pi, but uh, for some reasons I don't uh, see the pen drive uh, in the list below. So I would uh, need to remove and uh, replug, I mean, plug back uh, the pen drive in so that uh, it's detected pro properly. So I I guess this uh, issue is because we uh, plugged in the pen drive uh, even before the Raspberry Pi uh, booted up. 
so maybe it didn't detect uh, an external hardware at that point of time so maybe once we remove it and insert it back we should have our uh, a pi reading uh, the content on the pen drive so there you see you see a 7.5 gb drive uh, mentioned i also did connect an external 500 gb hard disk but uh, that did have uh, problems uh, 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 to read so uh, we'll leave that for a side now let's continue with uh, a review and uh, see the see how the images are rendered so what you're seeing now is a label that I designed for the products that I have uh, or the products that I'm gonna launch uh, pretty soon so uh, I'm, uh, it, it will be all the products that I, that goes out from here will be labeled uh, with whatever you just saw now so we do have uh, several other files here in the images let's see uh, how they are uh, rendered as well and uh, you see this is this image is about uh, 4.8 MB to 5 MB and uh, when you switch between uh, these images you do see uh, a lag that is because uh, the file size is huge and uh, as you know the, the RAM and uh, the RAM is limited on the Raspberry Pi and that uh, does give you a hiccup but uh, but that uh, that's really expected because uh, even if it's even if you do the same thing on a normal PC, it does take some time for uh, you to switch between uh, files of that size. So, uh, the file that you're seeing right now is an 18 MB uh, file. So, when you see uh, even after I click the button, it takes a while of the image to be displayed. So that's uh, totally fine as far as uh, your uh, 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 PC doesn't freeze there, and uh, it's totally beautiful. Uh, you looking at the options that's available and uh, looking ha looking at the output that you have from uh, the PC it's a uh, it's a treat to your eyes so let's go and see uh, the videos so we just saw how uh, we can view uh, pictures and now let's move on uh, to the videos so as I already told you we can uh, play back videos on uh, the RASP BMC uh, operating system so uh, this is the name of the operating system I just recall it now and uh, that is RASP BMC so RASP BMC that's the operating system that I'm currently uh, using on my Raspberry Pi and uh, let's see how the video playback is going through the videos I will just uh, show you the videos okay uh, I just had uh, the Raspberry Pi uh, restarted due to a power cut so I will just uh, unplug and plug back uh, the pen drive so there seems to be some issue when you have the pen drive already reconnected to your uh, uh, operating system during the boot up it doesn't recognize it so uh, ideally uh, you can uh, plug your uh, pen drives uh, probably once your uh, Raspberry Pi is uh, powered up and it's booted so yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll just uh, take a look at some of the videos that I have. So, these are some uh, videos that I had actually prepared uh, for a workshop, and uh, we'll see how uh, the playback is. So, so I've just kept the volume to the maximum level. And uh, mind you, the videos that you're actually seeing on the screen is of not of high uh, resolution. So they were actually uh, compressed to a smaller size. Uh, so that's, that's the reason you see all uh, distorted uh, images in uh, the video. So probably if I have another uh, video, uh, high definition video, I can uh, definitely show you that as well. So this is a video playback on uh, the Raspberry Pi. So we can also uh, do a seek. We can uh, fast forward our uh, videos using the arrow keys on the keyboard. So probably if you have seen this video, it, it would be boring to see it again. So this is this is a video where I actually made my uh, robots, built my robots. So let's go back. So I will just. Uh, so uh, this, this is a good feature you see, uh, the video is still uh, being played in the background when you're actually uh, navigating so you just stop your video so that will get back to your uh, normal standby screen. So let's see if we have uh, any better uh, quality video uh, in this folder. 
so I'm not sure if uh, there are uh, any videos let's see okay there's folder is empty I don't have uh, any uh, videos let me just uh, play another uh, sample videos for you it's probably something that I have uh, down here Okay, so let me just uh, run this uh, video. So this is basically uh, an archive, a compiled uh, video of all the robots that I had uh, built so far. So the audio, the video playback is uh, pretty smooth and uh, the audio output is uh, pretty great. So uh, the sound is pretty rich when it's compared to the output. Uh, you can also say it because of the TV but uh, the main source has to be clear for even the TV to uh, uh, give out uh, such a clear output. So uh, the credit should go to your uh, Raspberry Pi and that's a thumbs up for that. And uh, let's, let me just uh, seek through the video. See, as you see the seeking is also pretty forward. So you just see some uh, distortions here and there and after that uh, you should see a uh, very uh, fast. Uh, so this is, this is a robot that I built uh, for my uh, college project, I mean my degree. Uh, as my engineering, uh, as part of my engineering project, so yeah. Uh, okay, uh, let's not uh, waste uh, any more time on the video. Let just let's just uh, quickly go back uh, uh, to the music playback. So I'm uh, not really uh, that uh, well uh, with the uh, navigation. So let me just stop the video there and. Uh, we will quickly uh, run uh, to the music. So as you see, uh, when you whenever you go to pictures, videos and music, apart from the files, you also see uh, add-ons. So uh, these are something like plugins that you can actually uh, download from uh, uh, the internet. So when you do a get more, you would see all the video add-ons uh, that's available for uh, the RASP BMC operating system. And yeah, there you see uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, add-ons that you can actually uh, download and uh, use with respect to your operating system so that's a great feature it's available with uh, this uh, RAS BMC and uh, let's quickly go ahead and to the music and see how the music playback is and the music playback with my experience so far has been great and uh, you would get a very good uh, audio output so let me just play that so you also have a very nice uh, UI. So let me, I'm just playing one of the Adam Lambert song, even though I'm not uh, his fan. So there you see, you see a very nice uh, uh, logo, and you have some, uh, you have the list, you have a visualization backend, and uh, you can also control uh, uh, the audio volume up and volume down. Not really uh, sure about the navigation yet. So that's the uh, music playback. Just so I can play some of the song. Probably. Uh, so this is one of my uh, favorite songs. I can just increase the volume. Uh, that's about uh, the music playback. Let's see some of the uh, music. So this is how the visualization looks like. When you actually come back to the main screen, you have uh, the very nice animated screen still uh, playing in the end. And you also have the album art along with the music, I mean the song that's being played currently. And uh, I want to play another uh, nice song. of escape button and pressing off your escape button you just get back to this uh, very nice uh, menu where you have uh, uh, visualization and uh, the other stuff so that's your uh, basic media multimedia uh, op options that's available on the RAS BMC so you can watch uh, you can view your pictures you can watch videos you can listen to music and uh, 
along with that you can also have uh, certain operating uh, certain applications that you can download and uh, use them as well so let me just uh, take you there and show you uh, the different uh, options that you already have so first thing is last BMC settings we're not going there and second thing is uh, get more options so this would take you to all the available content that you can uh, download from the internet so all that you need to do is plug in the internet uh, port with the internet uh, cable uh, with your internet cable and uh, you should you should be able to download all the stuff that you are uh, seeing here so this is all uh, these are all uh, free uh, applications that's available which is developed by uh, other uh, uh, people out there so this is all free of course so you can uh, download them also you also have a R torrent so something similar to mu torrent for uh, uh, your operating system so uh, apart from the basic multimedia options you also you're also provided with a lot of uh, great features you can have uh, uh, you know uh, uh, download or you can have you, you have a gmail checker also so you can check your mails and uh, all that stuff so I have a very cool project in my mind as of now using the Raspberry Pi uh, I will not give you an update on that but uh, very soon you should be uh, seeing another video from me wherein I am uh, wherein I have uh, this project executed and trust me this this one's gonna be a very cool project and I will give you a complete update on that as well and uh, going back you also have the end uh, system which is basically uh, your uh, system manager I mean your uh, options which is respect to uh, uh, the settings uh, for your operating system so these are some various settings that you have uh, that you can do uh, so this is what uh, you see you have a uh, lot of options lot of features so you can also go to services and see uh, you, you also have a web server you can connect to the internet and uh, do a lot of stuff and uh, another cool stuff that I wanted to show you and it's here so once you have uh, your uh, Raspberry Pi set up to your TV you don't really require the keyboard and mouse but uh, a remote would uh, do all its work since this is HDMI connected uh, the, the remote, this remote uh, down here the buttons on here uh, does help you uh, serve you for uh, the navigation purpose so you don't really require a keyboard and a mouse if it's if your requirement is just to browse around and play uh, uh, play with the uh, play with normal uh, navigation so I'll just quickly show you uh, with that see uh, on pressing these arrow keys you can actually navigate between menus and you need to enter so let me just show you that so I can uh, quickly uh, go to uh, places and show you uh, the stuff. So there you see, these are some of the uh, robot chassis that I've been designing for uh, the, my robotic projects. So these are some image files, and yeah, that's how you can uh, navigate. You can also rotate, and uh, you can come back to the main menu and uh, stuff like that using these four uh, function buttons. So. This is really a great uh, feature again. You need not uh, browse through a lot of stuff. So let me just go there. So what I wanted to basically say is you can use a remote to do the basic navigations and uh, uh, you can do that. So that's a very good uh, feature which is uh, available with the SPMC and it's an advantage if you have a HDMI uh, TV so you can have your uh, uh, Raspberry Pi uh, controlled uh, using the remote. So that's it for now guys and uh, uh, we will be seeing a lot more on uh, the operating systems and the raspberry pi projects uh, in our later videos so catch you guys later thank you